Hey folks, we're back on the road again with Otter Tail Home Center. Yep. <laughs> Gosh darn it, we're back at that same home again. Like I said, we got a lot of things to talk about, a lot of things to show you. There's a lot of, lot of nice things going on here. And a lot of smart things again. One of the things that we did here, um, and it, it didn't add much to the cost of the home, but this year we had so much rain, like 25 inches in oh, July. It just never quit. Which usually get an inch or two. We talked them into putting in some DuPont roof liner roof on. Roof liner. And it, in a deal like this where they get the, the trusses up and the roof sheeting on, they can run this stuff over it and they can have their house dried in. Yep. Instead of having felt paper and it just blows off. This stuff here is is so tough and so durable. You staple it down and if you plastic cap nail it down, it's good for like 90 days. Yep. It's we, we, uh, really we, tough. We came out here to measure sheetrock one day and it was pouring cats and dogs. That night it rained over three inches here. And it, not a drop of water in the it house. Didn't leak in the house. Yep. So it makes it uh, makes it a lot better, and it takes a little bit of the weight off the builder's shoulders. Yeah. Absolutely. And, you know, for, it was actually the same price as thirty pound felt. Yep. It works good too. Really good. Um, then the folks they here they went with what's called standing seam steel, which is getting to be quite popular in the residential. Very popular. This is a very nice looking product. This is a little dirty, but. Uh, and it's a concealed fastener, and people are going to ask you, "Well, how can it be concealed fastener?" Um, it's glued every, down. <laughs> everything is everything is all done by the rib, and the next piece that comes over overlaps it. And it snaps in. It snaps together really tight. You got to take a rubber mallet and and, and ta uh, kind of tap it. Tap in it there. down. Yep. And like I said, you got all the trims to go with it. Uh, it makes it look so clean and so nice and neat, and it's maintenance free. It's uh, kind of one of them almost forever roofs. Yeah, because you know one of the nice things is is there's no screws in it whatsoever that are on the exterior face. Well, there's you know? there's two ways to finish off the, the the eave end. You can you can screw it off on the eave end, or you can pull it past and hem it underneath the the roof edge, mm -hmm. and you really have a true hidden fastener look. And in this case, they hem the edge so there is no screws whatsoever. Yep, not on the yep. So, so it that, really is a seamless seamless look. So the sun doesn't eat away at that little rubber gasket and. Yep make it leak and and there's nothing for any any stuff to be hanging off of mm -hmm. you know it, it's worked well it's a nice and it, it does add some cost to the project but you know these folks didn't want any uh shingles to worry about blowing off or yeah they you know the same you know scenario mm -hmm. they're getting up there in age and uh they just don't want to worry about anything that's right it's it's a it's a it was a smart move as far as i was concerned it, yep. it really works well with the with the cedar siding and that rustic uh cabins look up north look that they were kind of going for yeah yep it works great so you know if you're thinking about doing a, a steel roof even on a remodel you got an older home or new home it don't make any difference yeah it's very easy to put on and and you know attractive at the same time absolutely and if you look, want to there's a deer <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're out in the woods <laughs> so if and even uh Three foot wide steel. We've seen a lot of that go on homes lately. Yep, very and, true. Uh, that is not standing seam, but that is you know screwed fasteners and 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 for, as a matter of fact, that particular style of, of uh, rib steel is very comparable in price with shingles nowadays. Oh yeah, it's uh, it almost, all depending on the roof style and everything. But almost beats them. Yep, you bet. And like I said, the, the trims come with it. I mean, you can make it a real clean transition between your walls and your soffit. Uh, you know, you can't go wrong. So remember that next time you're remodeling, building, got some new uh, roofing to go down, scared of it raining, come see us. We can help you uh, do something. Up. Yeah. You bet. So remember, I'm Dewey. And I'm Eric. And we just love selling boards.